This presentation has been brought to you by Freaky Merc Studios. Partners with Car Wash Man 2010 and your good buddy, Liberty Medical. And this guy works for him. Hey everybody, I'm Billford Grimley, I mean Wolford Grimley, and I like to talk to you for a few minutes about diabetes. Actually, no, I want to talk to you guys about uh, what happened last night. WrestleMania 28. I, uh, I actually drove down to my hometown to go see it with a few of my friends from high school, and it was amazing. Once in a lifetime, the end of an era. Oh, I'm going to give you... My results and what I thought of every match. So, you know, this is kind of a celebration of a WrestleMania and the two major matches from WrestleMania. Well, they have on here the Triple Threat Tag Team Match the WWE Tag Team Championships. They didn't show that on the pay-per-view. Uh, so I don't know who won that one. But uh, first match that they showed actually on pay-per-view was the World Heavyweight Champion, Daniel Bryan, versus the Royal Rumble winner, Sheamus. That match ended in 18 seconds, which was very hilarious to me and everyone watching it at the uh, location we were watching it at, because it was stupid the way he lost. He just, bell rings, he kisses his girlfriend, then Sheamus, road kick, 18 seconds, win. And what's funny was, uh, Daniel Bryan kept saying that Big Show had the Shortest Royal Royal match e or not Royal Royal, WrestleMania match ever. Now he has the shortest WrestleMania match ever with 18 seconds. So I bet he doesn't feel real happy about that at the moment. Next was uh, Randy Orton versus Kane. Kane won. That was actually a, a pretty good match. I mean, Orton really didn't have that much. I I don't really think Orton was giving it his best to be honest. I really, yeah, I don't, I don't think he was all there. <laughs> Let's see, I think next was the Intercontinental Champion, Cody Rhodes versus The Big Show. Now, if you remember, Cody Rhodes kept telling Big Show he's never had that defining WrestleMania moment. Now he does. Cody Rhodes actually put up a pretty good fight against Big Show, but Big Show ended up beating him. For the Intercontinental Championship. So now Big Show is not only the Intercontinental Champion. He now has the Wrestlemania moment. He always wanted. So I think he really deserved that. He really just. He deserved it. Let's see. I kind of got the match that hour. Because well. I, was, I drove from Waco to there. And then Waco. From there to wake back to Waco in one day. And I really didn't get that much sleep. Uh, let's see. I think next. Ah, uh, heck, I'll just go with matches now, I think. I think it was uh, Kelly Kelly and Maria Munoz, the co-star of uh, Extra, versus Beth Phoenix and Eve. Kelly Kelly won with uh, Maria because she, uh, Maria actually did a roll-up on, I think it was Beth Phoenix and Pender to get the win. And that was actually, eh, okay, but Maria Munoz basically got the crap kicked out of her until finally yeah that happened uh, I kinda didn't think that was a really Wrestlemania match that was kind of a waste of a, of a time they could use for something else to be completely honest uh, uh, next the end of an era the Undertaker versus Triple H in a hell in a cell with Shawn Michaels as a special guest rep I kept saying, I think Shawn Michaels was going to screw over Undertaker. Super kick and Triple H is going to go for the pin. Shawn Michaels wasn't going to do anything and before the Undertaker put him in the triangle hold. And after, yeah, Shawn Michaels it was put in the triangle hold by, a triple, by a Undertaker, rather. And then Undertaker decided to, yeah, it was going back to Triple H. Undertaker got a little drowsy because Triple H managed to have kind of a comeback. And then they uh, Triple H and Shawn Michaels did their DX thing. 
Sweet Chain Music by Shawn Michaels. Predigree by Triple H, and they thought that's going to put him down for sure. Nope. He kicks out at almost, he kicks out like two and nine tenths, and match kept going for some time after that. It was, it, it stole the show. I'm just going to say it as it is. It stole the show. It, oh my gosh, it was, it was amazing. That was my favorite match of the night, probably, and it stole the show. Now, a lot of people will agree, that stole the show right there. Uh, let's see, next up, I think, was uh, Team Teddy versus Team Johnny. And Team Teddy got screwed over. There's no other way to put it. They got screwed over by Eve. Because Team Teddy was fixing to win. They were fixing. Uh, Zack Ryder was fixing to pin the Miz. They were, he was going to do as a finisher. Eve got in the ring and did the woo 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 thing with him. And then Zack got distracted by Eve. Miz came from behind, did his finisher, pinned Zack, and now Teddy Long is fired. And John, whatever, John Lantis, Lanis, whatever, whatever. The heck he pronounced his last name. Now it's control of both Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. I think that's going to ruin the whole shows. I think it's just going to ruin Raw and SmackDown. Uh, after that uh, after that was CM Punk versus Chris Jericho for the WWE Championship. That match was pretty good. But, uh, John, he, uh, bef Lancis, well, whatever, Johnny, he made the stipulation to CM Punk right before uh, Chris Jericho hit the ring. He told CM Punk that if he loses his temper and gets disqualified, then CM Punk would lose the WWE Championship to Chris Jericho. However, Chris Jericho could di get disqualified, and of course nothing will happen. CM Punk actually managed to keep his composure. At one point, he almost, almost lost it and hit Chris Jericho with a, with a steel chair. The ref kind of talked him down, though, and he threw the chair out ringside and then just started to beat the crap out of Chris Jericho again. He really deserved that victory, and I really liked that match. I think that was my third favorite match of WrestleMania. Now, the second favorite, and I really hate to say the results of this one, the once in a lifetime match. John Cena versus The Rock. The Rock won. I don't think he should have won. I, I, I think they're a fast count, to be honest with you. And I'm just saying this right now. You post any comments on this video about John Cena, it would be fair, or about a, the, a John Cena sucking or The Rock ruling or anything. I'm deleting it. I'm just saying that right now. I'm a Cena fan, as you can obviously tell. But I honestly think he shouldn't. He, I honestly think the ref fast counted it, and no one gets up after. And the way Rock got up was just that's never happened before. No one has ever taken two attitude adjustments, been down on the mat for that freaking long, then got up and did a finishing maneuver. No one's ever done that before. But the Rock did it somehow. So, I really don't... I say that was my second favorite match. But I believe the end result was bullcrap. I think Cena was going to win. I honestly think it. And then Rock's ego got into his way. And the ref, obviously, was, was a Rock fan. He wanted the Rock to win because he fast counted. <sighs> Stupid refs. I wish they would just call it down the middle and said sometimes picking a side. Because I, I could tell sometimes he was slow counting for Cena. I could tell. That ref was crooked. But uh, off of that now, gosh, I'm getting... Uh, as I said last night, I was, I was a lot madder last night about it. Last night, I was as mad as I was when I got to the ending of Mass Effect 3. As you can tell for this vlog, I managed to keep my temper in control on like, Mass Effect. But I was about as mad as, about that as I was when I beat Mass Effect 3, the ending of it. But, oh well. The Rock's a jerk. So, 
and it's over now. I really can't take it back now. But, yeah, I think the ref fast counted it. And, but that's about it. Um, but all in all, I say WrestleMania 28 was a very good pay-per-view. WWE did a very good job. They, they got some really, really good matches in there. And, you know, even if, you know, they had some pretty good matches, the results really didn't go always the way I wanted it, as obvious. But, all in all, I say they did a very good job. If I have to give uh, WrestleMania ring, I'd say, it's over 9,000! Because it was just that good. I'm, I say it was well worth the drive from here to... God, you know, yeah, you know, here to Godly, and from here, from God the back here, I say it was well worth it. I say it was really well worth it, and you know, well worth the gas money and lunch and I had to pay for. So, yeah, definitely happy I made that trip yesterday. Definitely happy I got today off of school, because if I didn't, I'd be in class right now. But registration and stuff's going on today, so they gave us the day off. So, yeah. So I have the day off today and I was just going to treat myself to a little bit of Godfather on Xbox while I play Godfather the uh, the MMORP, uh, RTS on Kabam, which if you are interested in playing and you want to join the crew Wolfords in, we play on the server called, if it'll load back up because it went to standby mode. We play on the server Clemenza, and we and uh, Wolford is the Corleone family, and Wolford is in a group called Carnage. So, if you're interested in joining Wolford's group, we are called. We our name is. Let me get the uh, thing. Asterisk Carnage Asterisk. We should be able to type in Crew Search Carnage. Uh, Wolford cannot accept you because I'm not high up in the ranks. But the annoying roommate, he is actually can accept people. And uh, if you want to play and you want to be in our crew, you have a Corleone family. Just send us an invite and uh, he'll probably accept you, actually. We don't really turn people away. We, we always accept people. Right now we are at 17 members and you have a maximum of 50. So, yeah, so we need members desperately. So if you want to play, go ahead. If you want to join Wolford's crew, be Corleone family, and then join the crew Carnage. And, uh, yeah, so that's about it. Eat stuff and die, I guess. You know, well, Liberty helps you die better death. Uh, I gotta play off something, I guess. Really don't have any more Mass Effect music. I do, but I meant WrestleMania music. I guess play another John Cena song to play you guys out. There we go. So, you think you're untouchable? Wilford Brimley. I mean, Wilford Brimley. <laughs> Wilford. Wilford Brimley? Out. Well, that didn't work at all. Well, until next time, Wolf Brimley, I mean Wolf Brimley, out.